What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today I'm showing you guys my entire Ghost Rare collection. There's some really awesome cards in here, so let's go ahead and hop right into it. Guys, let me know in the comments what Ghost Rares you have. But first we have a Gores the Emissary of Darkness from Gold Series Haunted Mine. This was the set that had a Ghost Rare in every pack. So there was a big box and every single box, like there's five mini boxes and in the five mini boxes there was one pack each. All had a Ghost Rare, you could get the first in a Ghost Rare Blue Eyes. I guess it's the only one still at this point with the tablet art, but we have Gores. I have one of these. I also have another one. So I have two of the Gores because when we opened Gold Series 5, you guys got to check that video out. It was a long time ago. It was like a 9 or 8K special or something like that. And I pulled three Gores out of the five packs. So it was kind of disappointing. We didn't pull the Blue Eyes, but it was still cool because we got another Gores. I think I graded one of them. So those are the first two Ghost Rares I have. Next, we have another one from Gold Series 5. We have Nichuria Barkian. This is one of the least valuable ones from that set, but still a ghost rare. It looks really good. It is a gold ghost rare, so they have the gold border, which a lot of people do not like, but I still think it looks pretty good. I mean, I think the ghost rare foil looks really nice. They do come scratched up out of this a lot, though, and that's just the thing with ghost rares. A lot of time, you're going to have scratches on the foil. Next, we have a number 17 Leviathan Dragon. So ghost rares, as you guys know, besides those from gold series are really tough to pull. There's one in 288, super tough to pull them. And this is just a card that I tried to pull for a while. We opened a ton of generation force, probably like a couple hundred packs. So the, the chances are about one in 288. We never did pull it. I got this from a collection that I bought. So once I saw that it had the Leviathan Dragon, kind of had to grab you guys are going to see a lot of my face like this see that hey guys because these are so reflective and also they're in sleeves so i've double sleeved all these guys because naturally they are one of the greatest rarities ever very very easy to damage and here is the infamous wing dragon of raw guys this card you guys saw me pull this on the live stream when we stayed live for like five hours or something it was super long we pulled this at the very end such an epic card, but you guys, if you can see that scratch right across there, just straight out of the pack. Classic Legendary Duelist print quality from that uh, most recent set. Not very good, but such a beautiful card. And you can barely tell the scratches there unless you get like really close. It looks pretty nice. Another card we have, this card brings back uh, Nightmares from when Yu-Gi-Oh pulled it against us. One of the many he's pulled against us, but check out that artwork. If we can look at it without looking at my face or all that stuff in the background, but that's a really cool card. Bujin. Amaterasu. There we go. I think that's right. I always say this one wrong, but very cool card. Here's one that we pulled after about 300 Lord of Tachyon Galaxy packs. The number 107 Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. The best part about these cards is you just look at all the colors. The Ghost Rare colors are just amazing. I mean, you got to love it. One of the best rarities. A lot of people say it's overrated. I don't think it is. I think it's rated correctly or underrated. It's very nice. I mean, just look at that foil. I mean, it just looks great. The thing is, it does take away from like the original coloring because the colors are not quite there unless you flash it. You can see some rainbowy colors. It's kind of like full arts with Pokemon, those uh, those rainbow ones, because like they go all rainbow, so you can't see the original colors. So it's like depends on if you care too much about that. But I think that these look absolutely amazing. I think they've done really well with Ghost Rares. So it's nice to see them coming back with the Winged Dragon of Raw. So number 107, Galaxy Eyes, Tachyon Dragon. Here is this one. Oh, we pulled this one. We opened a ton of cross holes, didn't pull it. Then we had a 100 pack opening. And did we pull it on the first pack? It was like the first or second pack. I can't remember. You guys can check that video out. It was insane. So we pulled the Clear Wing Synchro Dragon from Cross Souls. I mean, just an amazing card. If you turn it this way, it looks terrible. You turn it this way, it looks amazing. It's crazy how the ghost shirts, they can look completely flat like this. It just like, looks like, like a white card, just completely white. Go like this, rainbow, just straight rainbow. I mean, look at that. Okay, that's just my shirt, but <laughs> okay. Pretty cool. Pretty, really, really, really cool. Clear wing synchro. Love that. Here we have uh, Odin, Father of the Acer. This is an unlimited copy. I mean, we've had some first editions. I think this might be the first unlimited ghost. Odin, Father of the Acer from Storm of Ragnarok. I think this was in a collection as well. I can't remember where this came from, but I threw it in the binder. Really nice looking card. Nice and shiny. Really cool. I mean, check that dude out. What I think he's he is the cover card of Storm of Ragnarok, I believe. So pretty awesome right there, Odin, Father of the Acer. Here's the one and only. Okay, how many do we have? We have two, I think. So we have two Scarlights. Uh, we did pull four of these. We eventually pulled four out of Dimension of Chaos. Two were for a viewer who bought 60 packs from me, and I pulled two Ghost Rares for him. It was absolutely crazy, super cool. But it's it just is just a iconic Ghost Rare for me, just for my channel. I mean, 
if you guys if you guys don't remember this, you guys were are newer. But this was maybe half a year ago or something. We were open all of these. We opened a ton of Dimension of Chaos. I got a ton of packs at two dollars a piece. I think I bought three hundred and something packs, and there were four Ghost Rares in there. It was insane. <laughs> so they're one in two hundred eighty-eight. I already told you guys that. So we pulled four out of like three hundred and whatever. It was absolutely crazy. So two Scarlights. These are the two that I have that I pulled. And then the other two, of course, were for the guy who bought the pack. So that was really cool. Here's one of the coolest Ghost Rares. A Red Eyes Flare Metal. This one, I think, does have some scratches. Yeah, you can see that. But such a cool card. I didn't have a copy of it, so I figured I'd hold on to it. I mean, it just looks really good. I mean, check that card out. Red Eyes Flare Metal. And the thing about Ghost Rares is, once you do have those scratches, it does really detract from the card. I mean, it just looks kind of bad. I mean, you can get it like this and it looks really good, but once you get there, you're like, eee. So it's it's nice to have a nice clean foil, but it is really tough to find those sometimes. Sometimes they're really tough to get because they have to have been sleeved up right away and not like taken in and out or played without sleeves or anything like that. They can get really scratched up. But still, this is a really cool card from uh, Core, which is, what is that? I don't know. You guys let me know what Core is. I can't remember. I can't remember the name. We opened like 50 packs of it once, but I can't remember what the name is now. Ooh, here we go. We've got a Red Dragon Arts Fiend Assault Mode. This is a first edition. This is from Crimson Crisis. So this is a pretty old one at this point. This is an upper deck card. So this is how you know it's getting older. This is an upper deck print quality. I mean, just look at the centering on this card. It's terrible, but <laughs> really pretty card. I really like how the hand pops out on this one. The hand really pops out. It looks really good. It's pretty sick. I mean, that card looks really good. Here's a Dragon Knight Draco Aquist. I think that's how you say it. I never know, but really cool. This is from Duelist Revolution. These aren't in order, by the way. They're just kind of random, but really, really cool card. I mean, it looks really nice. This guy's been underrated for a long time. I think I got this card for, was it like 40 bucks or something like that? I don't know what it's worth now. Maybe it was 30 bucks, but uh, it's just a really cool card. It's been super cheap. Like, it's just not a very, no one really cares about it because in this set, there's also Solemn Warning Ultimate Rare, Effect Veiler Ultimate Rare, Secret Rare Pot of Awesome. You guys know the Pot of Awesome, but uh, just a lot of good cards. And then there's Dragon Knight Draco Quest, which is kind of random, but a really cool card. 3,200 attack. It's not bad, but pretty cool card. Here is the iconic Junk Berserker from Extreme Victory. I mean, this is one of the ones that was like 10 bucks for a long time, too. But it is a really, really cool card. It's 5Ds. I mean, pretty heavily related to 5Ds. A junk card. Um, junk just makes it sound bad, but that's the archetype. <laughs> pretty cool card. Pretty nice. Ghost Rare. Not much to say about that one. Here we do have another. That's a first edition Odin. So we'll just show this real quick because it is first edition. It does have some scratches on there. But a pretty nice card. Then we have a we have a big boy. First edition Shooting Star Dragon from Star Strike Blast. This is a pretty tough one because Star Strike Blast just doesn't come around too often anymore. And it only came in first edition, I believe. So there's no unlimited. There's only a first edition of this card. But a really cool card. His head seems a little bit small, to, to be honest. Doesn't his head seem a little small compared to his body? Let me know, guys. Don't you think so? <laughs> pretty cool. But nice card. Shooting Star Dragon, Ghost Rare. You'd love to see it. Here's a nice one. I know Simo will appreciate this one. The <laughs> Majestic Star Dragon Ghost Rare. One of his favorite. Yeah, it's just so strong, so powerful. But uh, Majestic Star Dragon Ghost Rare. This is a super nice card. These are one of the four dragons you could only pull without a booster box. So they do have a booster box in Europe, I think. But in, in North America, you had to get it out of those loose packs. So it's pretty tough to get this one in first edition. I don't only have the unlimited copy, but it's still really cool. Here we got the first edition Majestic Red Dragon. That's a super cool card. I used to have this card. The first one I bought, I bought for 20, it was like $27 at auction on eBay. First edition near mint. It was super awesome. It was a steal. And I eventually sold that one for a, a lot more. It was like 200 something dollars. But then I got this one back. So I do have this one. This one's super clean. First edition. Wow, that is really nice actually. Why didn't I grade this? Maybe there is something that I don't see, but it looks pretty good. First edition Ghost Rare. Really nice card. Majestic Red Dragon. From Absolute Power Force, so there are booster boxes of it. So there you go. That's for Lewis. He loves the good old Absolute Power Force. Here we got, ooh, a Black, ro <laughs> Black Rose. We have a Black Winged Dragon from The Shining Darkness. This is a really, really nice one. This one also has first edition booster boxes. But it's still really cool. I mean, it's a really nice looking card. The thing about the, the this thing about this guy that bothers me, I mean, his wings are so skinny. It's weird. 
I mean, I guess it's supposed to be like a... It's supposed to be like a crow or something. I don't know. But the legs are kind of weird. Yeah, other than... Yeah, it just kind of creeps me out, this guy. He's kind of weird when you look at him. But really nice card, though, overall. Next, we have a duo of Power Tool Dragons. We have the Unlimited and the First Edition Ghost Rare. We have some really nice Power Tools right here. We can check this guy out. I mean, he, he looks really good, though. I mean, he's not supposedly that good or whatever. But he looks amazing. That card's really nice. From Raging Battle, this is not an exclusive set either. But it's super awesome. Power Tool Dragon. Speaking of the exclusive sets, I used to have Ancient Fairy Dragon 1st Edition PSA 10. I did sell that one, so I don't even have an Ancient Fairy Dragon anymore. I had an Unlimited 9, also sold that one. So we are without Ancient Fairy, but we do have two Power Tools to make up for it. So that's pretty cool. It looks really good. I really like the colors on this guy. He looks good. Next, we have the Black Rose Dragon. This is the Unlimited. And, of course, we have the first edition PSA 9. You guys saw this in the top 25 Yu-Gi-Oh cards video. Check that one out if you didn't see it. We have the PSA 9 first edition and we have the unlimited Black Rose. So let's let's just look at the unlimited for now. They look, I think their artwork are the same. I don't think it changed it. I mean, not the artwork, but like the foiling. Sometimes that changes over the unlimited, but this one didn't. They look the same. So this looks really good. I remember buying one of these for $55. I think it was one of the first, it was like the most expensive card I'd bought at the time for $55. And I was like, wow, this card looks so good. It is worth $55. So I had one for a long time. I eventually sold that one like two years later. But we did get this one back. So this is really cool. Finally, for our raw cards, we have two Stardust Dragons. If you follow me on Twitter, you guys saw that uh, you guys saw that one of the pictures of one of these. So just a really nice looking card. I love this card, Stardust Dragon. It looks amazing. I don't have a first edition right now. I used to have a first edition, but it was pretty beat up, so I eventually sold it because I didn't pay much for it at all. So we got two Ghost Rares. These look really good. I'm, one of them is actually like moderate play. The one I posted on Twitter was actually has a moderate play, but the, the foil looks great, so that's all that really matters. Um, not in ter But when you're grading, obviously not, but for this, it looks pretty good. So two Stardust Dragons. That's pretty awesome. That's all our raw cards. Then we do have the Rainbow Dragon Ghost Rare and the misprint rainbow dragon ghost rare so we have both of these if you guys don't know about the story i've mentioned this a few times on the channel but the rainbow dragon misprints there is another one so there is the regular rainbow dragon that's this one right here from tactical evolution that is correct that is supposed to be rainbow dragon then you have one from gladiators assault there was not supposed to be a rainbow dragon in that set there was supposed to be chaos neo so they put the name here and they put it on there instead so that's the error for this one there's also one that has this effect artwork rainbow dragon tactical evolution but it has instead of saying or instead of the picture of rainbow dragon it has this picture so they have all the they did mess it up in every way possible it's pretty cool pretty crazy i want to get one of those eventually but i don't have one right now but this is a really cool duo right here so that's my entire Ghost Rare collection, and if you guys stayed to the end, you guys got a chance for the giveaway. I'll be giving away one of my two Gores Ghost Rares. You guys can win this Ghost Rare Gores. All you gotta do, like the video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite Ghost Rare or a Ghost Rare that you own that you love, something like that. Also, I wanted to shout out Landon Sanders for following me on Twitter, so thank you for following me on Twitter. Go ahead and go do that, guys, if you haven't done that already. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh,